am I going to do? My husband says he can't take money from people he knows. How does he expect to stay? How does he expect us to stay in business that way? I know. Would you help me if you take these two these influences to the folks in town who owe us? I mean, I can't take them myself. But if you do it for me, you'll do it, won't you? Please say yes. I do have an option. Oh wait, no, I don't. So yes, I will freaking do it. I knew you would. Okay, here's the deal. See, I've got five, and I need you to deliver all of them. First, there's Mr. Canal. He's southeast of here. The invoice is for 200 lunar. Thanks a lot. We're just gonna get one at a time. Yes, we're just going to get one at a time. So let's head out of here. And we have our first uh, side quest that we can complete right now. So let's go ahead and do it. I've talked to you before in an invoice. Oh, yes, thank you. I felt bad about not paying them. Here's 200 Luger. Take, Thank them for me. Thank them for taking your money? Sure, I guess. Why not? All right. Here is your money. Turn Luger exactly. The next is... Mrs. Sando, she's the elderly lady who lives next door. She owes 120 lucre. I appreciate your helping out like this. There's the least in invoice. I am Repo Man. Or accounts receivable, collections, whatever. Okay, this is the only t house next to them, so let's go ahead and go in here. Big Fat Liar, in these parts, they tell a story of how Mavils built a sand maze to hide in. A sorcerer figured out his mysteries were this. The truth lies beyond the sands, but those who fight the flow of time cannot see the truth. Is that of any help? No. That's why you're called the Big Fat Liar. Ah, uh, yes. Time to pay the piper. I almost forgot. Here you go. 120 lucre. I'm sorry if it's late. This town used to be small and simple, but got more cultured after Devious became a big shot aristocrat. Devious is officially a count, but hardly anyone calls him that. What's up, kids? Oh, that's a maiden? Looks like a kid to me. Just saw Amanda. She was headed for Devious Manor. She looked pretty serious. I haven't seen Lester lately. I wonder what's going on. I wonder. Lester's songs rock. You can totally get into them. Songs can change you. They can make you nicer, even stronger. I don't think they can make you stronger, but very well. The music is awesome. Why not? Okay, so then now we can head back with more money in tow. Here, take your money. Mr. Radley, he owes 300 lucre. Where does he live now? I heard he likes to shop, so he may have been seen at other shops. Another invoice. Hooray. So, two out of five down. This is kind of a tedious side quest, which is why I'm uh, trying to do this while I'm exploring town anyway. Uh, this is the blacksmith, so he's probably hanging out in here. Missiles are always vanishing around here. Pretty scary, huh? A little bit. A little bit. In Devious Manor, there's a clock tower. I often hear the sound of its pretty bell. It has a clear tone. I think when they ring it whenever anybody goes in the tower. What? A bill? Didn't I pay that? Maybe not. Here's 300 lucre. Oh, and here's a tip for you, 100 lucre. So we're finally making money. Is that barbecued newt? Hmm, I've heard of that. Burned to a crisp barbecued newt. That reminds me of the man who came from Topple. He was looking for work. He mentioned getting a job over at Devious Manor. Or was that... Oh no, I'm not so sure. Sup, dwarf? Welcome! And he can, uh... He can make stuff for me, should I desire. What about you? Welcome! You sell... Yeah, items and accessories. I don't believe he sells anything new. Thank you very much. Actually, let's just double check his accessories. You know, why not? Yeah, he's just got the same stuff that we saw before. So I'm on the banded earrings because that stuff's awesome. And then in terms of items, I don't think he's got anything new. Yes, we definitely have everything uh, that that we need. <laughs> All right, so more money. Hooray. Let's head back to the, uh, the inn. No, the shop. I forget what this is. I think this is... What is this? This is the... Another item shop? What the hell? There's two item shops in town? What kind of crap is this? Do you sell anything better? You guys sell the same things. How the hell do you guys both stay in business? You're both named Moti! What kind of crap is this? That is awful. What the hell? There you go. Alright, so I made some profit off of this. Next is Mr. Ahmed. He owes a thousand lucre. That's a bit of a voice. He's southwest of here. Please take it to him. Get another invoice. So it's time to head out of here. 
Yeah, this is uh, this is a long and tedious quest, I'm afraid. All right, southwest of here is this Mr. Ahmed's house? Uh, this is the inn, so a little bit further to the west then. Maybe here, Mr. Ahmed. Mr. Ahmed, it is. An invoice? Oh, the general store. Oh, a thousand luger? Me? A thousand luger? She's off a zero. He's whacked. Tell her to be more careful with her math. My tab's not a thousand luger, it's ten thousand luger. Set her straight for me, will ya? Beautiful. Yes. We have, we have talked to you already. So, apparently, we made her nine thousand luger. That she didn't think she was actually owed. She better let us keep some of that money. Well, she probably won't, but she better. Well, I added it wrong. Well, I'll take the whole 10,000 lucre. Last of all, is Mr. Devious. Now this place is spooky with all those maids. Made in charge of a council paid. I forget her name. Precio or something. Anywho, Mr. Devious owes us 2,000 lucre. Thanks for collecting. And we get our last invoice here. Now, I don't believe I've gotten all the uh, the side quest just yet. How many is that? I think I've only gotten three? I could be wrong, but I've only started, I believe, three. Alright, so let's uh, head back up to the second floor. Why they can't let me through, like, through the front door is beyond me. He apparently likes complicated uh, house design. Oh, you want to go upstairs? No, first you must go around the back, and then back to the front, and then you can go up the stairs. What is that? Okay, Precio, if I remember right, uh, this was Precio. No, that's Priscilla. Barbecue Newt? I don't know I've heard of that before. I've got it. A waiter who used to work here loved it, his Barbecue Newt. I'm pretty sure that after he worked here, he went looking for a better paying job over in Ish. So we still can't find Luke's dad. He's still gone. He's over in Ish. Apparently Master Devious was separated from his father and brother when he was a child. That must have haunted him his whole life. So we are getting a little bit of background information from these maids here. Talking to me? What? You got an invoice? Oh, sorry about that. Sure, I'll pay you. And we get our um, money. Get me closer and I'll pop you one. I had you trapped in a corner. I couldn't get much closer than that. Alright, let's head back out of here. Back around to the front. <laughs> this, play this, this quest is one of my l most hated quests, to be honest with you. To be, and I don't think the reward is worth it, but it's it's a side quest. Therefore, I must do it. So let's head back to the store, whatever it was that they're selling. They have items here. I don't know this. What, what she's maybe she's in charge of the money for this for the item shop. I don't know. Are you a debt of gratitude? Here's two hundred lucre and a piece of dead bear's gold. I look forward to seeing you again. And we received more Dud Bear's gold. Hooray! Now, I'm a little confused as to the other side quest that I can do in town. So hold on for one second while I double check where I can and, and can't get those started. Actually, it looks like we have started all these side quests uh, that we need to get started. There were five. I have started five. Um, I've completed just one, if I remember correctly, but we have definitely started all five. So, let us head back into Devious Manor, and we need to head back up uh, to the back room. And now we can actually move on and try to go out of here. Second floor, south room to the north connects to the clock tower. Now, if I remember, maybe I am thinking things a little different. No, 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 no. We definitely need to go back out here. There we go. We cannot let you in while Lady Medusa is out. Oh my! You captured the escaped birds for us, didn't you? Right this way, please. So first, you won't let me in, but since I saved the birds, now you will? You guys just said, uh, yeah, you don't say anything new. So let's head back here. Amanda, Loki, have you recovered? Yes, I have, no nose. What you doing here? I came looking for you, Amanda. What? Hey, it's locked. Sorry, Loki, about disappearing and all. Don't
Don't worry about it. Say, Amanda, I've got to ask you about that pendant. What the hell's going on back here? Yeah, I'm the one who swiped the pendant. But you got to realize I did it to save your life. That creep Devious sneaked up on me. He said, he said he'd trade the medicine that would save you for the pendant. I shouldn't have handed it over without asking you, but I thought I'd never see you again. What do you know? Loki the man of God has fixed it so we'd meet again. Man, I hate goodbyes. Amanda. Ha! Not like me, huh? All melodramatic and stuff. Forget about it. Don't swear, Amanda. We aren't slaves anymore. We can always be together. You mean it? Hey, in the slave quarters, you always used to go on about some girl. Have you seen her yet? Amanda, I... Then it belongs to her, right? Oops, sorry. <laughs> I must be getting soft. Alright, let's go get that pendant back. Thanks, Amanda. You know, back at the slave quarters, there were times I'd lost all hope. But your smiling face was the one ray of hope that cheered me up. Oh, make me blush. Anyway, let's get the heck out of here. Right. Say, um, Amanda, who's your friend over there? Oh, that's Lady Medusa. This is her room. She's so pitiful. Let's see if we convince her to let us out of here. Amanda has joined the party. So we do have a new party member now. Uh, we'd like to get out. Do you think you could ask them to let us leave? Lady Medusa has a broken heart. Poor thing, she must have had an awful time of it. Huh? That bird, it's singing my brother's song. That song? It's an ode to Grams that I heard in Wendell. Is that your brother, Lester? You know, Lester Loki? Medusa was wailing, but now she stopped. Do you think this bird? N nah. Lester? Is that bird Lester? Does that mean that the other minstrels are... I can't believe it! How could something like this happen? Come on. We gotta let him out of that cage. Out of the way! Ow! No! Once more with feeling! No, the spear does nothing! My birds... Uh-oh. Yikes! Ah, it doesn't look good, and... Nothing happened to the rabbi? Amanda, are you okay? It hit the rabbi. It clearly hit the rabbi. I've been better. Uh-oh. And now... It turned into a bird. Lady Medusa turned my brother into a bird. If I had wings, I could fly to be by his side. If I had a beautiful voice, I could sing like him. Lady Medusa. You do. You have discovered Lady Medusa's secret. You shall not live. He's calling. Lady Medusa, please settle down. We wouldn't want the outside air to touch your skin. I must go to the altar of time where he waits for me. Oh, damn. <laughs> Get the hell out of my way. I got places to go.